वेलकम अगैन फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट वी आर डूइंग एलेक्जेंडर्स फीस एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश विद द पर्म टू कंटिन्यू विद द पर्म येस्टरडे वी डिड दैट हेलन बिकेम द कॉज ऑफ द सेवन ईयर्स ट्रोजन वॉर इन द सेम वे थायस वॉज द रीजन फॉर द डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ पर्शिया so he is connecting uh, a similarity between thais and troy helen of troy so this poems subtitle is the power of music and we have already seen that how alexander alexander's mind is being moved by different musics being played by timotheus so he first of all moved his mind towards religious feelings by the praise of jove then the praise of bacchus and he was intoxicated with the feeling of uh, having drunk then he aroused the feeling of pity and then he aroused the feeling of love with the help of music in alexander's mind and in the last he tried to fill alexander's mind with the feeling of revenge so he now in this stanza will refer to one more musician that is saint cecilia so as today timotheus is successful in arousing different feelings in the mind of alexander so he is comparing the musical power of timotheus with saint cecilia so he says thus long ago long ago means even before the times of timotheus a heaving bellows learned to blow a means before heaving means uh, heaving bellow bellow means a uh, musical instrument and it seems as if it is heaving heaving means sighing learned to blow means he is talking of that time when bellows were also not invented while organs were yet mute organ again a musical instrument so they were mute timotheus to his breathing flute and sounding lyre could swell the soul to rage or kindle soft desire so he says at that time when bellows and organs were not even invented so with his limited store of music and musical instruments he was successful in arousing different types of feelings in the mind of alexander sometime he aroused his soul to rage rage means anger and revenge and another time he kindled soft desire of love and pity in his mind at last divine cecilia came inventress of the vocal frame so he says after some years what happened divine cecilia saint cecilia came and she was the inventress of vocal frame she invented organ the musical instrument called organ the sweet enthusiast from her sacred store enlarged the former narrow bounds now she was a sweet enthusiast she was saint and she was very sweet she was enthusiastic about increasing the range of music so from her sacred store her musical store her store of music was sacred she enlarged the previously narrow bounds of music she gave heights and depths to music and added length to solemn sounds solemn means serious sounds she gave depth to already existing sounds with nature's mother wit and arts unknown before now with the help of two things nature's mother wit means she was naturally witty secondly she was artistic so with the help of nature and with the help of arts that were unknown before she enlarged the narrow bounds of music it means that she took music to greater heights 
let old Timotheus yield the prize or both divide the crown. Now he is comparing, the poet is comparing Timotheus and Saint Cecilia. Timotheus, we can see the success of Timotheus in today's poem that he could move Alexander's uh, feelings to wherever he wanted. He infused the feeling of love, he infused the religious feeling in his mind, he infused the feeling of pity, feeling of revenge and what not. So he says that this crown of music should be given to either Timotheus alone or this crown or this credit of music should be divided into these two musicians, Timotheus and Saint Cecilia. He raised a mortal to the skies, she drew an angel down. So both did commendable services with the help of music. Now what were the commendable service, services done by these two musicians? He, he means Timotheus, raised a mortal to the skies. Raised, Timotheus raised a mortal. Now who is a mortal? Alexander to the skies. How did he raise him to the skies? Because he aroused religious feelings in his mind. And she, she means Saint Cecilia, drew an angel down. Saint Cecilia, it is said about Saint Cecilia that once she was playing on her organ and some angels were passing through the earth and they mistook the earth for heaven. Why? Because they listened to the beautiful music played by Saint Cecilia and they thought that this beautiful music could come only from heaven and they mistook earth for heaven and they came on the earth. So both did something divine with the help of music. Timotheus raised Alexander to the skies and Saint Cecilia brought an angel down. So that is why John Dryden says that the crown for music, the credit for music should be given, should be divided between these two musicians. They are Saint Cecilia and Timotheus. So let us have a quick revision of this poem. In the uh, first stanza, we did that Alexander the Great has won Persia and he is giving a royal feast. And in that royal feast, he is sitting on a very high, awful stage with his valiant crew, with his brave soldiers and he is godlike. Why? Because he has all the powers in his hand. And those valiant people means those brave uh, commanders of his army they were honored by the tiaras made by flowers and herbs and his lovely wife Thais was sitting on his side sitting by his side and she was looking like a east like an eastern bride she was youthful and beautiful and John Dryden the poet says that only the brave deserves the beautiful wife. Now Timotheus the musician he was also made to sit on a very high stage. It shows that musicians acquired a place of honor at the time of Alexander and he was playing uh, music with such dexterity with such skill that his fingers seemed not to touch the musical instrument. So beautifully he sang, started singing the song made for Jav. And he made the people believe, he made Alexander believe that he is not the son of an uh, Alexander. Uh, he was not the son of an ordinary man, but he is the son of Jav. He is the son of God himself. And what was the effect of that song that all the people they believed that actually Alexander is the son of God and they started applauding and they said that he is a present ditty. 
and what was the effect of that music on alexander that alexander was filled with pride that yes i am not uh, the son of an ordinary man but i am the son of god now the second type of music which the musician sang and played on his musical instrument was the praise of bacchus bacchus is the god of intoxication and he in his song sang that bacchus was coming with uh, the beat of drums with a purple face and an honest face and he was fair and young and <clears throat> this god inspired the joys of drinking and the effect of this type of song was that alexander was intoxicated even without drinking and he was so much intoxicated that he lost his uh, senses and he tried to fight all the battles over again and he tried to uh, slay all his foes he tried to kill his foes again and again so the musical master timotheus when he saw that this madness is rising in the mind of alexander he changed his music in order to check his pride so what music did he change to he changed to a music arousing pity so he sang the sad story of darius the king who was killed by his own people and there was no one to close his eyes when he died so the effect of this type of song on alexander's mind was that alexander first of all was guilty that he has also uh, done a lot of bloodshed plus he also started thinking that the same may Uh, happen with me also today i am all powerful but tomorrow i may be killed my by my own people so tears began to flow from the eyes of alexander so then the mighty master the musician timotheus he smiled why because he was being successful in changing and uh, in switching over from one feeling to another with the switching uh, from one music to another so the next feeling he was about to arouse in the mind of alexander was the feeling of love so he says that world is not just worth winning but it is worth enjoying he said that lovely thais your wife is sitting beside you and you should make the most of the time god uh, have provided you god have provided you so again what happened that he was lost in the feeling of love and he started to caress his wife then the master alexander he thought that again i should switch over from the feeling of love to revenge so now he started thinking about revenge and he woke up alexander as if he was awoke with the sound of rattling peal of thunder so he created an image that all his uh, killed soldiers and grecian people are asking for revenge so the power of music was exhibited on the mind of alexander and he started thinking that all these ghosts are asking for revenge then he compares thais with the uh, helen sorry with the uh, trojan queen helen in the end the poet says that timotheus was successful in arousing different kinds of uh, emotions in the heart of alexander even before the invention of bellows and organs so the credit for music should be given to him but he says that even saint cecilia she was the inventress of organ even she should be given credit both did miracles uh, the miracle done by timotheus was that he aroused a mortal mortal 
he is referring to alexander to the skies and saint cecilia drew an angel down so he says that the crown for music the credit for music should be divided into both these musicians so i hope you understood this poem thank you